let's talk about uploading service-based products to your Squarespace site. Now, examples of this would be like a class you would teach, maybe consultations, non-ticketed events. Um, one thing to note is uh, it can be a one-time purchase or a subscription, just like physical products. So we'll walk through that. Let's click service right here. And again, we have the same pop-up modal that shows up for physical products or similar to physical products um, and a little bit different than digital because it has a few more options. So we're going to enter our service product name. So for this, I'm going to add in, let's say, branding consultation. I would add in my product details here. So product details to go here and then what's included, let's say, and then feature one, feature two, and feature three. We'll want to go ahead and add an image that reflects what this service is. So I'm just going to use an image that I have. Um, I don't have an actual image for this because I don't, I don't use Squarespace for this service, but we'll pretend that this is an image that showcases this service and we would make sure to add in that image metadata. You're starting to see a pattern here probably. So we would put in branding consultation. Um, we can put in for entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs, whatever we want, and then we'd hit save. If I had other images, I could click and drag them for whatever one I want to show up first. Um, and then again, making sure that we add in these categories and tags again, one category, multiple tags. So the category is the overarching bucket that this product would fit in. And then tags would be anything that's applicable to this specific service. So we would add those in there. And then let's head over to pricing and variance. So again, set up very similarly to physical products, except for we don't have like weight and dimensions because we're not shipping anything. So if um, I had multiple variations of this, I could add in um, or I could select different images for those specific variations. But again, SKU is your inventory identifier. Um, not necessary, but if you have, if you're going to have a lot of services or a lot of things in your shop, you would may want to utilize that. Pricing is what your customers will pay for the product. So let's say my consultation is $100. I'm never going to put it on sale, so I, but I could. I could put a sale price in there, and then I can put it on sale or not. And then how many um, stock would be how many times I want to offer this service. So let's say I only want to offer 10. I can do that. Or I don't care how many times I do it. Let's do unlimited, and it's going to do the infinity symbol there. And then any custom variations. So let's say we can do length of consultation or length of time. And we can do 30 minutes or we can do 60 minutes. And again, I just hit the enter button. So it's going to duplicate everything. I just have to go in and change what I want to change. So the only thing I want to change on here, because I want to offer an unlimited amount of both of them, is the pricing. So let's say the pricing for 60 minutes is going to be 150. So we can do that there. We'll head over into additional info next. And just like the other products, this is a great area for related products, um, other services that go hand in hand with a branding consultation in this example. So maybe website consultation or any other consultations that you might offer. Or you can add in um, policies for the services that you provide. It's a great area to put that in. Um, form is going to be where you add in um, anything that you want the customer to fill out prior to purchasing your service. So um, it maybe it's what their business name is going to be or what it is. If they have a website, you can add in all of these questions by creating a new form and adding those in. Options is where, again, you're going to select your thumbnail image. So you would just want to make sure that you upload um, what thumbnail image you want to use. Your product URL is going to be auto-populated by Squarespace with whatever your um, service product is called. And then you can decide if you want to use a custom add button label or not. So if instead of add to cart, I want to do purchase this service, I can change it to that, whatever you want it to be. And again, with social, if I toggle any of these on and I hit save and publish, it'll automatically push this um, service product to that social channel. You can, like I mentioned in the beginning, um, create 
a subscription-based service product. So if I toggle this on, it will show just like a physical product does. So you can change the repetition of how much you offer it um, to that specific client. So let's say instead of a branding consultation, it was a coaching session. So you could do um, one coaching session a month and it's ongoing, or maybe they paid for four of them. So one coaching consultation um, a month for four months, or maybe we want it quarterly. So it's going to repeat every three months, four times. So that's a full year. Um, and then we, if I had this, the right plan, I would hit save here, but I can just hit upgrade. I'm just going to hit cancel. And then when we're all done, we can hit save and publish. If everything is how we want it to, and we want it to be shown to the world. Or if we hit save, it'll be added to the rest of um, the demo products that I have set up here and have this black bar showing as hidden, which means that it is a um, draft product and it's not published live yet. The last kind of product that we'll walk through are gift cards. And um, those are great for really driving more business to your online shop. So let's dive into that. 